Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. A listener wrote in to me to ask me a question, and rather than dealing with this specific listener, I want to broaden this out a little bit. Um, essentially, here is what the listener was asking. The listener says, He got married. He was very enthusiastic about getting married. He's in love, love, love. But after a few months, she got used to living there. And suddenly the mundane elements of everyday life started to creep in. Paying bills, going to Costco, waiting in line, dealing with work issues. Blah, blah, blah. I guess blah would be the appropriate word because what ultimately happened is that their sex life started to decline and decline more and decline more until finally they got to the point where she just said, I have a headache, or I don't feel like it, or I'm tired, I don't feel like having sex, uh, all the time. And time started to slip by, you know. Uh, in the beginning, it was like uh, they were having sex once a week, then it was every other week, then it was once a month, and finally, not at all. Now, of course, this guy is heartbroken, and that's why he's writing in. He's writing in saying he took wedding vows... And that he love, love, loves his wife, but he's a young guy and he needs to get laid. He doesn't just want to divorce his wife. She doesn't think they need counseling or therapy of any kind. And so his question for me is, under those circumstances, is it okay if I get it somewhere else? And he went on to tell me that he had a few exes that were still poking around, sending him text messages, sending him uh, 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 voice messages on his uh, cell phone and what have you, checking to see how married life is. You know, you ever get those calls? You know those calls. You get married, and people are checking in to see how things are going. In reality, they're hoping they're not going well so they can nail you. He's getting those. How's married life? How are you? There are some girls who send him text messages. What's going on? How are you? Are you still together? What's happening? He's wanting to know if he can um, tap that while he tries to figure out what's going on uh, with his wife. Now, I am no arbiter of morality. I don't uh, pretend to be an expert on morality because I have a very checkered past. I've been a very bad boy. I've done very bad things. I've done things when married, I've done things within relationships, I have. Not with everybody, not always, and I don't believe always it's the right thing to do. Maybe it's never the right thing to do. Personally, my belief, my belief, and I'm no expert, is that uh, if you need to do that, it means you need to get out of the relationship, okay? You're just not getting what you need, and you need to be with someone who will give you what you need, or you need to be alone so you can get what you need when you need it from whomever will give it to you. But that's just me. Hey, that's just me. I can't speak for you. Okay. This guy wants to stay with his wife. He says he genuinely loves her. She won't put out and she won't go to a therapist and now he's stumped. Now I could also tell him to dump that bitch. And he knows I would say that. But again, he reiterated. A lover. Maybe she'll eventually agree, break down, go to therapy. Maybe things will uh, get better. Maybe. But right now I'm in need and I need to take care of my needs now. Is it okay under these circumstances to get it somewhere else? I am in no position to say what's okay and not okay. Because, as they said in a laxative commercial many years ago, normal is what's normal for you. So whatever works for you and whatever fulfills your needs is what you need to do. I, I can't tell you. And anybody, including Dr. Turkey Neck or anybody else, anybody who goes on the radio and tells you what, 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 how to handle things morally, it's very easy to tell people about morality until they are in the situation. You know, pretty soon Bill Balance has the Polaroid and your legs are spread uh, like a yoga position, and then uh, all of a sudden you're on the Internet. I mean, you never know what you're going to do in a particular situation. You don't. You think you do, but you don't. 
the way it is. So I would be the last one to tell you about morality and tell you how you should be going about this. But I'm wondering what the listeners think. Men, women, anybody. Again, guy is in his 20s, married, loves this woman, happy, happy, happy. But uh, time wore on. And uh, by the way, no kids. They haven't had kids. But the sex has uh, ground to a halt. Is it okay for him to go out and get it elsewhere? You tell him. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-866. Tell these people they're freaks, but you know what? That's one of the reasons I listen, because they're absolutely hysterical. They want to hear all the freaks. Exactly. And nobody has more freaks listening than Tom Likas. The Tom Likas Show, 97.1 Free FM. Like his show, one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Sean, hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Sean. How are you doing this evening, my friend? Do you care? I always care. Doing great. Great to hear it. I was listening to what you were saying about this gentleman, and it occurred to me that if this has already happened in the relationship, he needs to get out of it before she decides she wants to have sex. And the one time she does, she gets knocked up, and then the guy's really stuck. I think that's a very good point. You know, and he needs to think about this. He needs to really understand that. How long have they been married, did it say? It sounds like less than a year. Less than a year, and she's already stopped putting out? That's uh, right. You know, that's, that's pretty, you know, that's pretty good grounds to, for dismissal as far as... You know, there's a lot of women out there who would say, though, I can't believe a relationship is supposed to be based only on sex. I can't believe you're so narrow-minded. Well, you're only as narrow-minded as you are hung, right? <laughs> and so what I'm saying to this gentleman is, you have needs that need to be met, as does she. I'm sure she wants to be taken out, and she wants to go buy this or that, and you accommodate that, and all you're asking for is a little bit of love. And she's That's already right. telling you, no, you need to kick her. Kick her to the curb! And I, can I say one more thing, Tom? I just really wanted to say I appreciate you not doing what that fool Howard did and going to satellite and me able to still hear you on free radio. Thank you for that, Sean. Take me out with a bong hit and a gunshot. Here you go. one 800 tom It's Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Hi, right, Mike. Hey, finally got through to you. I love it. The show, man. I want to say to that guy about his wife and that whole situation, man, go out and do what you got to do. We have our needs. She, that this was messed up that she could treat him like that. She, she has to realize this is his carnal instinct, is to go out and get laid. Yes. And she won't do it for him, so he's got to find somewhere else for it to happen. It's just the way, it's the way business works and the way the world works. Yep. You got to fulfill your needs. Uh, I agree. I, I, I still don't understand what her deal is. I mean, she won't even see counseling? No! That's a, that's just stubborn. I've been in relationships like that where they will not go to a therapist, they will not go to a counselor, they will not talk it out. They, they, what, they think it's just going to go away? Well, you know what I ended up doing? I ended up going to my own therapist who taught me how to get out of the relationship. Ah. That's what I did. You just need to know then to get out. There we go. What the well, What about marriage? So then you don't got a prenup. Then you get. Then that's your own fault from the beginning, though, right, Tom? Absolutely. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Dorian is listening to us online in Annapolis, Maryland, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Father. Hello, son. Hey, 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 Father. I just wanted to tell this guy. I think it's perfectly okay to bang other women, and uh, he needs to dump that bitch. Dump that bitch. <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom Stephen on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How you doing, man? Doing okay. Good deal. And this guy needs a meaningless overnight relationship. Definitely. <laughs> he just needs a. Together. Sorry about that. He just needs to get it together, get it done, over with. First of all, if if that's not going to work for him, he needs to do the sneak attack in bed. 
there were laws about marital rape, and if she really is opposed to this and wanted to make trouble? Definitely. She could make trouble for him. Yeah, probably. Hey, it's worth a try, though. See, I really, uh, you know what, I tend to be the guy on the side of, uh, since women can sue you and take your money and make your life miserable, I believe in cutting your losses. If I was with somebody like this, I wouldn't waste one minute. I'd get an attorney and blow her the hell out of there. I'd blow her to kingdom come, man. Goodbye. You, that's a definite idea right there. Done. Because you know what? She had a job when they met. And they managed to find time to have sex. The fact that they are busy has nothing to do with why they're not having sex. Because they had jobs. They were employed before they got together. Oh, yeah. Oh, he needs to do something, Tom. This is just she's crazy. really saying she just never wanted to have sex in the first place, and now that she's got her hand in his wallet, yeah, she's now going on strike. That's just a cop out. She's so copping out. She needs to do something. I Get rid agree. Of her, dump her, throw her, kick her to the curb. Done. Bing, bang, boom. Thanks, Tom. Take me out, African style. African tribal style. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Chad on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Chad. Hey, how you doing? I've never. Uh called in on one of these before, but I was just curious, how does he know that she's not getting it from somewhere else? Good question. That's certainly something I'd want to know. Well, women have needs, too, so... Well, uh, by the way, there are some women who appear to have no needs at all. There are women who I think are not interested in sex at all. Really? At all, yes. <laughs> well, you should dump her ass, then. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> She'd have yeah, papers. Much... She'd have papers so fast her head would spit. <laughs> yeah, not much point in sticking around for that. No, I don't think he should cheat on her. I think he should just dump her ass and uh, let her know it's coming. Dump her ass. Yes, sir. Thank you, Chad. Thanks a lot. See you. Appreciate the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Jared on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing tonight, buddy? All right, Jared. Before we get to your comment. Uh, don't you hate those commercials on TV? I mean, has that been the bane of your existence, that dope on the uh, sandwich commercials? <laughs> I mean, don't people give you crap? Your name isn't that common. You, you, you know, you know the, the, the thing about it, I, I guess most of the time, is the stupid Subway stuff. That's what I'm talking like, about. Like, so, so are you the Jared from Subway? I'm like, no, I'm not as ugly as that guy. Leave me alone. <laughs> <you know? laughs> yeah, look at him. He lost 350 pounds. Look at him. Hello? Yeah, he's, he's still ugly in the face. He's a butter face. Come on. Subway did not help him get any better looking. <laughs> Got him some money, and I'm sure. Oh. Subway. I'm a big fan. I, I love it. I eat there all the time. I recommend it to anyone who listens. Absolutely. But come on. <laughs> uh, you know, I my, my parents gave me a like decent name, you know, that wasn't too common, but... Wherever it ends up, it seems like people want to associate it with, like, advertising. This yeah, but the rest of your life you're going to be hearing about this. Yeah, I know. I'm the Jared from Subway. I've gotten a couple of free subs out of it, so, hey, you know, <laughs> whatever does the trick, right? I understand. All right, what did you want to say about this guy who wrote in? Well, you know, I mean, I, okay, I've been dating my girlfriend for about three years, and, I mean, we, we got a healthy relationship in that department. And the thing about it is looking into marriage – Soon. I mean, honestly, why? My, my parents were married for 30, 40 years before my mom passed away. They were busy every night I can remember, unfortunately. It kind of scarred me, I think. But, you know, I think it's an element to a healthy relationship. If this guy's having problems into his first year, you know, man, don't even worry about the counseling. Do what you were saying. Get an attorney. Get your stuff put together. Get out. Go find a girl that is willing to fulfill your needs because you're going to be miserable the rest of your life trying That's to right. battle it out with the stupid girl. That's right. Yeah, so, you know, it's uh, it's, it's sad. It really is sad. I'm sure he loves her and stuff, but you know what? You know, what, what are you going to look back on the rest of your life when you're six years old and think, man, you know what? I wonder what would have happened if I would have gotten out. Absolutely. So. Now, Jared, why are you getting married so young? Oh, I'm not getting married. <laughs> you're not? Not yet. Not yet. 
we're, we're taking our time with it. I want to make sure she's the right one, and we've been together three years, and so I want to make sure that she's not in it for the money. The, uh, oh, do you have money? Oh, well, a little bit of money set aside. <laughs> you know, not that she knows about, but, I mean, my job pays all right. So. so you have to hide it from her? No, I'm not hiding it from her. She just, what she doesn't know can't hurt her. So, you know, as long as she's happy with what I'm making... Um, you realize, you know, though, that you've committed to one person at such a young age. Yeah, I know. I know. That's, you, that's, that's something right. you'll look back and regret. <laughs> well, hey, you know, we just got this program out in Phoenix, so, you know, I'm starting to, you know... Starting to get with the program here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is a great program, by the way. i got to say, I, I enjoy this a lot better than they had. I think it was The Zone. I never listened to The Zone. And I was listening to you one time coming home from work, and I'm just laughing my brains out. It was with the... With the lady that I don't know, she had some problem with you about um, making comments about lesbians or something like that. Yeah, and you just <laughs> owned her face on the air. It was just hilarious. So <laughs> since that day, I'm like, you know what? I like this guy. So anyway, so you, you got another listener. Thank you for that, Jared. So um, what's with the sound effects thing? What, what what can I choose from? Oh, we have uh, lots and lots and lots of stuff. You can take it out any number of ways. Okay, give me two guns. How about that? Two gunshots. Two. All right, gunshots. here you go. Let me get the gun out of the gun rack. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Sarah on the Tom Likas Show. Hi. Um, I just want to say that I think that this guy needs to sit down and talk to his wife and Basically, get well, he her. did. He said he wanted to go to counseling with her. Yeah, well, if she, she said um, no. Yeah, if she if she's not willing to either talk to him or go to a counselor to see what he can do or they can do together to solve this problem, then he needs to tell her that he he needs to leave and basically tell her that's her choice. So you think it's better for him to leave than to have an affair or have several affairs? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Because, I mean, what if he gets another girl pregnant or well, something else? Well, what if he gets his wife pregnant? Holy cow. Exactly. Well, if they're not having sex. Then. Yeah, but they, what if they have sex one time and she gets knocked up? Then he's really stuck with her. That's true. I don't know. I just thought that leaving her would be better than cheating on her. I tend to agree with you, but most people do not leave as fast as they need to. Most people hang around and hang around when really they should just get the hell out of there. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I, I made a mistake when I was very young. <laughs> I'm still very young, I guess. I got married at 17. Why? Um, Because I was pregnant. My parents basically told me I had to. Oh, my God. And I was divorced at 20. Of course you were. Yeah. How'd your parents feel about that? Oh, they took his side completely because they're against divorce, very conservative, and you should stick with your man no matter what. Mm hmm And he was cheating, and I told him that I would rather him leave me <laughs> than cheat on me, you know, just tell me, hey, I'm not in love with you or whatever, and then cheat on me behind my back. He cheated on you because he was uh, involved in a serious relationship at too young an age. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I learned from my mistake. <laughs> well, good for you. Now you're banging everything that moves? Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. Well, I've actually been in a serious relationship for about... You're not going to get married again, are you? Uh, we're thinking about it. Now, Sarah, you're 23. Uh, what are you doing? 23. What are you doing? I don't know. I just want to have a family. <laughs> you already do. I know, but I want a bigger family. Sarah. But I'm, go I'm going to school right now, so... What are you studying? Don't um, tell me you're going to become a beautician. No, I'm going to be an occupational therapist. An occupational therapist. What is that? That is like, for instance, if you had a stroke and you would need to relearn how to um, do everyday things like feed yourself, uh -huh. button your shirts, I would be the person to... Um, Teach you how to use adaptive tools to do that, so you could live as independently as possible. Oh, I see. Got it. And uh, what kind of school teaches that? Um, right now, I'm I'm just starting, so I'm going to Scottsdale Community College, All and right. uh, and then I'll be going to ASU, 
and then I will be going to Midwestern University because they have a OT program there. Midwestern University is in the Midwest, isn't it? Actually, no. There's one in Glendale. Was oh, that one of those that uh, like one of those big schools like University of Phoenix? They got branches in seven hundred cities. Yeah, probably. And an eight hundred number. Yeah. And if you can uh, draw Winky off the matchbook cover, you're accepted. <laughs> I don't know. I just know you have to have a bachelor's degree before you even get in there. Really? Yeah. Thought I would. Check. You have to have a three point oh GPA. I see. Three point oh. Yep. Standards are high. Yeah. Right, very good. Well, I went to school and became a medical assistant a couple of years ago, and I graduated with a 4.0, so... From high school? No, um, medical assistant. And what school did you go to for that? It was just Apollo College, a trade school. A trade school, okay. Yeah. There were no branches of DeRay located anywhere near there, or ITT Tech, or any of those? Um, there was, but I wanted to go into the medical field, uh -huh. and... It sounded interesting. You could always time. minor in gun repair while you're there. You know, that's why I was <laughs> suggesting. Well, it, it sounded interesting at the time, and uh, I just, I realized that you need more of a college degree to make money. I understand. All right, Sarah. I don't want to ever be dependent on a man again. I completely, that's why you want to get married again, right? No, well, I don't want to be financially dependent on him. I mean, if I can support myself, then... I won't have to be like, Why? oh, well, well I once you to Once pay. you have a second kid and a third kid and you're I married. Well, I have two kids. I have two kids with my first. They're two kids? Apart. What are you doing? Yeah, well, after the first one was born, I got on birth control and it didn't work. And I got pregnant five months later. Oh, you're killing me. <laughs> now you want more kids. I want one more. Oh. I want a girl. <laughs> I have two boys. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. And um, how are you going to be able to go to go to work and have all these kids at home? Well, I mean, if I wait to have another baby after I graduate and after I've been working for a year, then I'll still be able to, I mean, there's daycares and family that can watch my child. My other two will be 11 and 12 years old by then. <laughs> what year will that be? Uh, 2000 and, let's see, 11. 2011? Yep. Holy cow. <laughs> see, you were how old when you first got knocked up? 17. 17. Oh. I have a 5-year-old and a 4-year-old. Oh, why? <laughs> God! Dumb like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. Tom Likas. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. Ninety percent of the world believes in a higher form, a deity of some sort. Ninety percent of the world eats at the Olive Garden. Does that make it good food? The Tom Likas Show. Oh, yeah, from Los Angeles. Hey, it's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Ann on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Ann. How are you? Do you care? Nope, I don't. Oh, then why do you ask? Well, because I... Have you ever dated a girl from Montana? I have. You have? Really? Are you lying? No, she was from Great Falls. Yes, in fact, I married her. You married her, really? Yes, I did. I am from Montana. Dillon, Montana, to, as a matter of fact. Where is that? That would be about two hours south of Great Falls. All right. And I just moved to Phoenix just recently to do my senior internship down here. And my boyfriend listens to you religiously. Uh-huh. And I don't really like your views on things. Well, does that tell you more about me or about your boyfriend? No, because he doesn't. He Well, as he tells me, he doesn't take everything you say to heart. That doesn't mean he doesn't agree with a lot of things I say. Yeah, but why do you say? I mean, I, you haven't dated every girl in the world. You don't know how they all are. You don't have to date everybody in the world. Yes, you do. No, no you really you don't, like. because nobody has. Well, that's what I'm saying. I've I've had a representative sample. You've had a... Re I doubt it. Oh, yes, I have, dear. You live in California. Yes, I do. No, 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 no. Give me an example. What, what did the girl in Great Falls do to you? What do you mean, what did she do to me? 
What did she? No do? one has to do something to you in order to get divorced. Yes, they do. No, they don't. You. What do you mean? I said, you, 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 people get divorced sometimes because they just grow apart, or because uh, their values are different, or because it just isn't working out, or it isn't as interesting as it once was. It doesn't have to be that uh, somebody did something to someone. Well, you're always talking about how the men do this and that and that and that and that, and that for the girl. Well, and generally, it's true. Generally, but not we are Dear, we are broadcasting. We are broadcasting to a broad audience of broads like yourself. And therefore, uh, when we are broadcasting, we have to make certain assumptions about large groups of people. Oh, I don't really care. Dear, I cannot tailor the show to each individual listing in the Phoenix White Pages. I cannot go through the list of every single person and say, this one is a certain way, the next one isn't. I can't. But you make it sound that way. I, I know. No, that, dear, that's your own uh, problem with hearing, okay? Uh, no. Oh, no, oh, yes. Ouch. Dear. Oh, yes. That one. Yes, yes. You have a hearing problem. No, I don't. Uh, I never say all. Never. Oh, you say you're pretty blunt on what you think women are like. Yes, because they generally are like that. But they're not. Well, whatever you're referring to. What do you mean? No, you said uh, you were the one who brought it up. What is it I'm wrong about? What is it that I say about women that's wrong? Well, that okay, the first time I ever heard you in my boyfriend's truck, you were talking about how women get pregnant to just nail you down for child support. Many do. Well, you know what? I don't have a kid, and I think... Or they, 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 or they have babies to nail you down into a relationship that you don't want to be in. No. Yes. No. Really? How many children do you have? Zero. Uh-huh. Well, then you haven't done it yet. Oh, yes, I have. Oh, you had a baby to nail somebody down into a relationship? No, I haven't done it yet. Oh, oh, I thought you meant, like, had sex. No. Yes, I've had sex, but I've never... No, I don't, dear, maybe in Montana they call it doing it, but uh, here in the sophisticated world uh, in the 21st century, we say Man, having sex. Sophisticated. I'm sophisticated. Really, I can tell. I am. Yeah. I may not be like most of your... You come from the part of the world where they still call sex doing it. Well, that's just... Everybody says that. I mean, that's, they still say that. That's too. neat. It's Talking okay. about people doing it. Okay. Well, I just thought maybe since you were on the radio, you wouldn't exactly say sex. Sex. So. Sex, sex, sex. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. But what I don't understand is why you don't, why, because, I mean, like, the first time I heard you, I told my boyfriend, you're a sexist pig. Hmm. I know in Montana they know about pigs. You know, I've never seen a pig. Really? Really. <laughs> and I'm from Montana. Well. And yes, we do have electricity. Most of them wear blue jeans. Huh? I said, yes, we do have electricity, and yes, we do have cars. Yes. Well, if you yes, want to see a pig in Montana, you have to look. They, they wear Wrangler jeans there. No, you don't. You don't have to wear Wrangler jeans. No, no, dear. I said the pigs wear Wrangler jeans in Montana. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. You can't spell butte without B-U-T-T. -T. Oh, my God. I just think you just totally have it wrong. I think that... Oh, yeah, it's a bunch of bathing beauties. It's a bunch of Playboy centerfolds in Montana. That's right. No, I'm just saying I think you've had a run-in with a few bad girls, and uh, there's good ones out there. I'm not saying that they're good or bad. I'm talking about what they look like. Oh, oh, you want to see me? I'm not ugly, baby. Oh, really? Is that so? That is so. What do you look like there? Who do I look like? I've been told I look like Sarah Jessica Parker without the mole. Uh, you think that's her only issue? So, that, so you've got the turkey neck and the big nose, is that right? She doesn't have a turkey neck. Are you kidding? Do, do you, what do you look like, Tom? Doesn't matter. I'm on the radio. Oh, it does matter if you're going to ask me what I look like. Dear, I, I don't really care what you look like. The point I make well, you is that yeah. the, the girls from Montana that I've seen, I've seen a lot of childbearing hips coming out of Montana. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? With a, with a large pair of Wrangler jeans wrapped around them. I don't even, you know what, the, the minority of people in Montana wear Wrangler jeans. Montana is not... All right, Lee jeans, fine. 
<laughs> no, not Lee jeans. Really? What are they wearing? I wear seven jeans. I wear lucky jeans. No, no, you, you're living in Phoenix now. You're not living in Montana. I'm talking I about the people who are in I, Montana. I wore them when I lived in Montana. I just moved down to Phoenix like a month ago. So you were the arbiter of style in Montana, were you? No. Everybody was stylish. Yes. I'm amazed we haven't heard about all this style in Montana. Well, I will say that we are a little bit behind on things because no one wants to, I mean, Montana has less than a million people in the state, so yeah, we are a little behind on style, but we're not that far. <laughs> it's not that I look like an idiot when I move down to Phoenix. Mm. All right, how tall are you, dear? How tall am I? I'm 5'3". How much do you weigh? A hundred and... Let's see, I weighed myself today, and I was fully clothed. So let's say like 116. 116. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you've got a smoking body? Do I have a smoking body? I'm asking you. Do you have a smoking body? Dear, I asked you. No, well, I'm asking you first. No, I asked you first. No. All right, I'll, well, I'll, ta I'll take that as a no, dear. No, I, I think I do. The, okay, fine. You have a smoking body. Do you still wear a two-piece bathing suit? Yes. You do. Right. It's one way to tell. Well, that's why I think that you're... So why do you have a problem? Your boyfriend loves listening to the show. Why do you have a problem with it? Because you're you're just... You're totally against, like, the women. I'm very... I mean, I feel like I'm in, like, the 1920s where you don't feel like we should vote and you feel like we should sit at home well, and, like, cook you I got, got, got a little bulletin for you there, dear. Women got the right to vote in 1920. In yeah, in 1920. Yes, I said 1920s. You know, in the 1920s, women were already voting. That may me I didn't say particularly 1920. That could have been like 1910. That oh, been 1910. so 1910 is part of the 1920s. Okay. Yeah, take it from there. <laughs> Got it. Well, thank you for that little history lesson there. The 48th Annual Grammy Awards, Wednesday, February 8th at 8 p.m. Tune in to music's biggest night and see who takes on the Grammy for Best Rock Album. Coldplay, Foo Fighters, The Rolling Stones, U2, or Neil Young. Visit Grammy.com for a complete list of nominees and the latest Grammy news. The 48th Annual Grammy Awards, live, loud, unpredictable, Wednesday, February 8th, 8 p.m. on CBS. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM We'll break it down, won't we? Tom Likas 1-800-5800-866 It's just a phone call away The Tom Likas Show Live from the McDonald's I'm loving it studios This is 97.1 Free FM The Tom Like is show at one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That is our telephone number. Now, uh, Lindsay is calling in from the Glendale Arena in Glendale, Arizona, home of the Phoenix Coyotes. And what are you up to, Lindsay? Hey, I'm just hanging out here listening to your show, waiting to go to Aerosmith. Cool. Having a good time. Love that. And uh, what are you girls doing out there? Oh, just hanging out, drinking, you know, being a little tipsy. Look at you. <laughs> Be careful. Uh, some radio personality might come take advantage. I know. They're dirty. Ah, uh, that's the word. Dirty, skanky radio people. Disgusting. <laughs> so when are you going to come out to Phoenix and sign my rack? Would you like me to come sign your rack? Yeah. I'll be happy to do that. I hear you might be coming out soon, hopefully. Yeah, well, how about I put a little handprint on your ass at the same time? Would you like that? Oh, you know it. Yes, I would it love it. You're ready. right? I think you're ready right about now. <laughs> yeah, I'm always ready. All right. Uh, you know, I, I've got an open palm with your name on it. Sweet. Yes. Sexy. Absolutely. It's, it's good to be, Lindsay. We'll have fun at the concert. Oh, I will. You have a great night. Uh, you too. Uh, bye. There we go. That's right. Now, you see, she does not even know what KTAR is, much less ever tune into it. Forget that, or KFYI. Not happening. Not happening. All right. Our email address. It's my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. 
Tom at blowmeuptom.com. Also, if you want to hear our show live, I mean live, the way nature intended it, between 3 and 8 p.m. Pacific time, go to our website, blowmeuptom.com, and click on the Listen Live button. That's blowmeuptom.com. Click on the Listen Live button, and you'll be hearing us live between 3 and 8 in the afternoon, evening, whatever. The Tom Likes Show.